Welcome to Zion's podcast, Casting for Christ. We are back. We come to you from from our studios at Zion Lutheran Church in Casterville. I am your host, Pastor Greg. We go to a few, uh, a couple of uh, news and notes that we have from Zion Lutheran Church here. The first thing I have is that Zion's Women Fellowship will begin its meetings again here at the Fellowship Hall at Zion Lutheran Church after August the 17th. Please stay tuned to this broadcast and also our emails for more detailed information on that coming soon. Also, too, just a reminder, from our Zion food drive back in July, a total amount of donated food items and monetary contributions came to 1,705 pounds for for Zion's July 2020 food drive for the Medina County Food Bank or Food Pantry in Hondo. And this will help to fill the shelves there. Thank you so much, God. And um, God really... uh, enabled us to provide greatly here and thank you so much all who helped out here from zion lutheran church okay that brings us this morning we're going to skip over the humor portion and we're going to go to our bible trivia the bible trivia question for today is which new testament book records jesus's earliest miracle i'll repeat that one more time which new testament book records jesus's earliest miracle Okay, we'll get back to the answer to that trivia question after our devotional. Our devotional today uh, comes from Psalm chapter 46, verses 1 through 3, and it was written by Dr. Carol Geisler for Lutheran Hour Ministries, and we'll, we'll take some things from that this morning for our devotion time. Psalm 46, verses 1 through 3. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way. Though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains terrible at its swelling. You know, often in scripture, when the earth gives way, it's a sign of God's presence. When God gave the Ten Commandments at Sinai, he descended on the mountain of fire and the whole mountain trembled greatly. When the Lord was angry, David said, the earth reeled and rocked. The earth beneath our feet does move from time to time with terrifying results. Earthquakes are not the only life-shattering events that we experience. Events in the world such as war, terrors, natural disasters, and economic crisis threaten the very foundations which we build. When we or our loved ones are struck down by illness, financial hardship, loss, or grief, We feel shattered and unsettled, without a safe place to stand. When the earth gives way, the God who made his presence known with earthquakes is the one sure and certain place of safety. He is a refuge, a place to hide, the strong foundation on which to stand. He is the one who is present to help uh, and sustain us. The psalmist repeats the refrain, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. God is the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the armies of heaven. Though we may rightly fear raging nations and tottering kingdoms, the Lord of hosts thunders at earthbound warring nations. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46 verse 11. In Jesus, all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. The mighty God who shook Sinai with his presence took on our human flesh. The Sea of Galilee once roared and foamed around Jesus' frightened disciples, threatening to overwhelm them. And they called on Jesus to save them. And the Lord of hosts commanded the wind and water, Be still. Then, for the sake of our salvation, the mighty Lord allowed the world's roaring, foaming evil to overcome him. He was nailed to a cross, offering himself as the perfect sacrifice for our sins. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day after his death, an earthquake shattered the very first Easter, and an angel rolled away the stone to reveal Jesus' empty tomb. Jesus has risen from the dead. Sin, death, and the devil lie crushed beneath the nail-scarred feet of the Lord of hosts. To the fear, guilt, and shame that rise up to roar and foam in our lives, 
the crucified and risen Lord speaks his powerful commanding word, Be still! We have a safe place to stand, securely sheltered by his love and power. We will not fear, though the earth gives way. Will you fold your hands and bow your heads as I pray? Lord Jesus, during earth-shattering events and at all times, be our refuge and strength, our present help in every trouble. Say to the things that alarm us, be still. Amen. Let's go back to the answer to our trivia question. Once again, the, the question was, which New Testament book records Jesus' earliest miracle? Well, the answer is the Gospel of John, the second chapter. This is the account of the wedding at Cana. And that brings us now to a theme verse, a new theme verse that we're going to have, which kind of just really talks about what we are, the people of Zion Lutheran Church here are. And it comes from Galatians chapter 6, verse 14. We are imperfect people, saved by grace, willing to risk it all to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Let's wrap this podcast up this morning with a reminder about Zion's various media ministry offerings on YouTube and Facebook. Tuesdays is Lessons from the Garden with Garden Granny, airing at 9 a.m. and archived after that. Sundays, catch the, catch the live stream of our worship services on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. Each service will be archived for future viewing on Zion's Facebook pages as well as uploaded to YouTube after the service. And also this podcast, Casting for Christ, each Wednesday beginning at 10 a.m. and archived after that. This is Pastor Greg with Casting for Christ encouraging you to walk with light, the light of Jesus Christ. We will meet again next week. God's richest blessings for all of you.